What's poppin' y'all? So we're about to get into this video by Daily Dose Comedy. This is Bill Burr's Savage Moment. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into the video. So your Christian background is is part of the, the show. Or yes, and I episodes. wanted to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, I, <laughs> not, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know. As far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Look at his face. I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good Lord. So that, did you that, feel that, you were being something. disrespectful or just you, you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> More so than my cartoon. All right, listen. A couple of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically, they just, they just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld. After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. I'm a huge fan of hockey. I love it. And I love that people don't get it <laughs> down in the States. I love it. I love it. Why do they make, why do they let them fight? I can't see the puck. It's like music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's like good, yeah. Get out of here. Do you, just get out of here. Let me, let me let me watch it in it's, peace. Do you remember when they lit up the puck for a few years on, on TV? News, yeah, that was you guys. Do you know? No, but the but the NHL. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time out. No, time, well. out. time out. Time out. The NHL is you guys too. So all the owners had to agree with that. And you all had to be like, we gotta, we gotta like expand this thing. We thought we'd funnel money into Canada and keep it here, but you guys took it over, like you tend to do. But well, I'm not going to apologize no, for that. No, no, no. You're big on the, yeah. I mean, that's just business, dude. You're acting like we came and knocked you on the head. You know what we're about. I, yeah, we... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. you know wait a about. second. Fellow white person, <laughs> not native to this country. How did you guys get this up here? Did the Native Americans go, oh, well, we like these white guys. You can have all that land. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, I... I get it. Your shit smells like maple syrup up here. <laughs> that what you're telling me? All right. Yeah. I'll go with it. You know, when did you start shaving your head? I'll go with it. Uh, I love him, I man. Shaving, well, I shaved it. I had my first, my first special. I had it shaved. Really? Yeah. When I saw you in New York I'm for glad, the Patrice I'm glad thing. you liked it. I, I see you I like losing the roof there in the back. Yeah, You'll I'm be right there with me. We'll do, a, we'll do a buddy cop show. Exactly. All right? Two balding old guys. Exactly. Going after some hairy criminal. Where did you play the cop on uh, Breaking Bad? Breaking like Bad. Things. I wasn't Breaking a cop Bad. in Breaking Bad. And I had my sp head shaved on my first special. You didn't do your research. You were Where? so busy worried about this match and this. And now Where look at you. you. Huh? What You're show were you a cop? Sweat on your upper lip. Because I'm nervous. Because I'm fucking this up. You're in New York for a while. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, did you pay attention to the election? We got a new mayor here. Bloomberg is up. I didn't even know there was an election. <laughs> I honestly don't. I don't pay attention at all. I, I you know. It's funny, Bankers get bonuses of any way. Like the upper echelon get from like 10 million up to 100 million, and the president of the United States makes like 400 grand a year. So right there, I watched enough wrestling to see a rigged game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's like people with YouTube channels making as much as the leader of the free world. So I just think he's set up to be bribed, <laughs> and uh, you act accordingly. So any, any, basically anybody who comes at me going, these, these, these uh, you know, the conservative right, or the, you know, the, these liberals, like I just zone out. I can't even talk to you if you're actually still looking at it like those are two choices that you're getting. <laughs> you're not, it's the same. Once you get past a certain level, it just seems like it's, it's, you it's know, all the same. Yeah, you've jumped in the river. And you act accordingly, <laughs> or you get that convertible ride in Dallas. You got Come one on. question to ask Don Rickles. Uh, who killed Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> you think he knows? Well, yeah, well, he hung out with Sinatra. I figure <laughs> six degrees of separation, he probably knows. Yeah, why not? Where's well, Jimmy Hoffa? I'd ask him one of those. You know, you know, you yeah. ask him three mob questions. One of them, he's got the answer to. This is Southside Steve, and this is Southside Steve TV. Why are you looking and at? And this <laughs> is Bill Burr. That's your question. I'm just saying who you are. Oh yeah, all right. I don't like you. Creep me out with that big microphone and that country western shirt. Oh no, this isn't country western. It's like it's hip now to wear oh, okay. this. This is my nightclub look. Yeah, okay. come on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, uh, what is this? Rock 100.5. That mic is long as hell. This is the worst interview I've ever done. And he's wearing Stetson cologne or something. It's just really over, <laughs> overpowering. How you doing? You know what he looks like? He looks like the first guy who gets his ass kicked in a Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> oh. The background guy behind the, uh, the, the big kingpin. <laughs> Why don't you handle guy. it? <laughs> what do you think about, uh, 
population, the rural <laughs> population. That's completely out of control. Well, I, what about I, I, be fruitful and multiply? I think we did that. I think we, <laughs> I think we achieved that goal, and it's time to move on to something else. I mean, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Like, uh, I think we need to kind of curb the babies for a minute, <laughs> let some older people die off, you know, and uh, I don't know. I think like a good number is about, I don't know, about 500 million. Oh, really? Six, and let the oceans come back. Yeah, but how do you Give choose? Give people some space But you're, again. Not, you're, you're not talking about death panels. You're just talking about attrition. Yeah, just, you know. Birth control, then. Birth control, old people die, somebody falls off a ladder. Right. You Let's gradually, see. you know, you taper it off. Here's what I think maybe get rid of seatbelts. I mean, there's some things we could do to move things no, just along. get rid of medicine. Get rid of medicine. Yeah, all these diseases we're trying to stop is nature actually keeping us in check, but we can contemplate, like, love and, and uh, uh, loss in our own mortality. So we think these diseases are bad. They are bad, they, but animals get them all the time, and it keeps them in check, and we stopped get, all of that get shit. Get rid of medicine. Get rid of medicine. Get rid of Live a healthy life. Eat well. Get rid of Dude, pesticides. If it wasn't for modern medicine, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I should not be here. <laughs> I had a ruptured appendix in 1980. I should have died under a stack of wool blankets <laughs> on a prairie, but I did. Eating green jello? Yeah, no, here I am. Just walking around, taking up space, driving a car, <laughs> polluting a river in my own way, adding my hole to the ozone layer. I mean, you don't have any kids. No, I don't. I don't like There's the way no you said birth. that. <laughs> you don't have any kids. No, I don't have any kids. I'm going to adopt. <laughs> That's nice. I'm going to rescue a couple of the children that work till four in the morning <laughs> to put this. They make them catch it when it rains. <laughs> okay? And you have to stand out there <laughs> and, until it's full. <laughs> and if it doesn't rain that day, you actually get beaten. And they dock your pay because you didn't do the rain dance right. And then we sit here and we drink this shit. And we wonder why China hates us. Actually, oh. nerd Jesus died in the... Wait, I'm going to say it now. The fact that he could make a dark joke, like, you got to, it's like, how do I put it into words? It's a dark joke, but, oh, what is, what is it that I'm trying to say? It's deep. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a dark joke, but it's a, it's deep. Like, it makes you think. Like, that's why, that's why I fuck with Bill Burr. Because he says what the fuck is on his mind, and it'd be true. <laughs> The last year, right? Steve Jobs. Yeah, he died, right? I know, I know, a lot of nerds here tonight. I know, you're sad. I didn't get it. I didn't get the big deal they made about that guy. When he died, they were like, he changed the world. That was insane. He changed the world. The world was one way, and then Steve Jobs came, and it was another. What did he do? <laughs> what did he Somebody, do? for the love of God, <laughs> what the fuck did that guy do? What did he do? He told other people what to invent? I want my entire music collection in that phone. Get on it! <laughs> right? And then these poor, nameless, faceless scientists gotta go in a back room and figure it out. How the fuck are we gonna get all of this into this? I mean... What year does this guy think this is? This is crazy. This is like Buck <laughs> Rogers. Dude, my kid has a birthday in like 11 months. Steve Jobs just walking by. I don't hear any thinking going on in there. Just strutting around the office, eating some pretentious fruit like a pear, right? Just throwing out ideas. There's another one. There's another one I just came up with on the way to work. I was reading a magazine the other day, turning pages, you know? I like to turn pages on a screen that aren't even there. Yeah, wrap your fucking heads around that, guys. <laughs> See you in eight years. Where you going, Michael? Big, little, big, little, get on it! <laughs> big, little, big, little. Right? And all these people slave away to make his vision come true. And then they have the big nerd fest, right? Down there, Comic Con, and all the, the nerd the mecca. They are all yeah. showing up with their acne and their Hulk shirts, limping into Hulk the shirts. arena, right? Does Steve Jobs go out with a whole chorus line of scientists? No, he goes out there by himself. Sneakers and no belt, like it was no biggie, right? <laughs> yep. Like he's, like he's Tesla. 
tapping into the atmosphere. I know, this is always uncomfortable. I know, you bought into it, right? That whole advertising, the way they aligned themselves with some of the greatest people of all time. Jesus, Gandhi, me! <laughs> Remember that? Muhammad Ali, John Lennon, this guy! How the fuck was that dude like any of them? Gandhi didn't have a sweatshop. Nah, he didn't have people leaping to their deaths only to get, catch a net and get ricocheted back through the window to have to put together yet another iPad. John Lennon didn't have children in his basement pressing those fucking albums. I know, I know. New phone can't fit the old charger. This is your hero? <laughs> this is the guy? This is what all the silence is about? New phone can't fit the old charger, so then you gotta throw it out, ends up in the ocean around some octopus's neck. See what I'm saying? Do you realize how much sea life is ecstatic that that man is no longer walking the earth? <laughs> Bill Burr is a tree hugger and a deep thinker. Confirmed. <laughs> I don't watch enough Bill Burr stand-ups. You know what? Dave Chappelle's face is right there. Okay, so, um, what is that skit called? So on the Dave Chappelle show, it's like, I think it's called the racial draft or whatever. So the first time I ever seen Bill Burr, and I didn't even know it was him. The first time I seen Bill Burr was on that skit. Um, I think it was called the racial draft. And he looks totally different. Like, I didn't even know that was him. Because I had did some Bill Burr reactions before in the past. And then I had just recently watched that uh, that skit, The Racial Draft. And I'm like, oh shit, that's Bill Burr. Like, I didn't even know that was him. He looks so different. But yeah, like I said, I need to get more into Bill Burr's comedy because... The shit that he be saying, like, he calls out a lot of fuck shit. And I didn't even realize that until I started doing, like, some reactions and stuff on his comedy. Bill Burr for president. That's all I gotta say. All right, y'all. <laughs> that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.